Hello and welcome. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Albania. I, I almost said Albania Gone Wild. That's not right. I was just just reading the comments in one of my Almagon Wild videos with Shen, and uh, yeah, I got confused. Right, so Albania or Iberia. This is going to be a long recording session for me, so hopefully my my uh, my focus, you know, will be there. Continuity between episodes. First things first this is the first episode of this session, so I've got to like kind of get my bearings straight. Uh, let's see, how we doing? Where how we is it? Little credit crew is fine. I don't worry about that. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. A little bit more loyalty would be nice on here, so we could get. No, we're actually fine there. Um, this is be the only one that I really want more loyalty on. Can we do the? Uh... Nothing I can do. I can't call a diet until 17. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna cancel my military access with everyone, so that hopefully I can screw the Ottomans. <laughs> That's basically it. Um... I mean, he's not trying to cross, so... But he's got troops here. Like, how, how are you doing this? How did you do this, Ottoman? He's not shattered. And there's Austrians in my territory. And, of course, we reload and then Lubick demands unlawful territory on the other province. That's unfortunate. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna cancel military access with everyone. I, I, I'm not sure exactly what it is that I've done that's granting military access. I'm assuming Mantua... Or somebody... Somebody that's involved in this war must have military access for me, like right? That's how one of them is. The, how how else are they crossing my land? So we're granting military access to France, Pomerania, and Mantua. We're gonna cancel all of those. Oh, that's right. We had just teched up. We just got administrative efficiency. Did we start our cores yet? Can't revoke from Pomerania yet. Sorry, France. Sorry, Mantua. Ottomans are losing, but we want them to lose harder. And then Pomerania. Yeah, Pomerania. I, I guess Pomerania is involved in this war? Yes, they are. They are the reason why these guys have military access. So as long as somebody has any troops at all in my territory. That's so annoying that, like, I, I can't just get rid of it. Further concessions have been demanded. As we have graciously granted the Liberum veto, our nobility are demanding further concessions or they'll use their right of confederation against us. So gain stability, get increased decentralization, increases a monthly autonomy for 10 years, or, uh, and also increased aristocracy, which reduces cavalry cost for the same length of time, lose space tax, or I fear no confederation. Hmm. Losing one base tax in history is not a big deal, but we're already at three stability. Lose one stability. Twelve rise up in Capitanata. That was down here. Safax. I'm not gonna capitulate to these stupid nobles. Salerno is also down here, right next to that one, so that's fine. And then Tunis. Yeah, okay. So we grab both of our leaders, we put them both in charge of these two armies. We'll just sell, uh, Capitanata. And we're just going to take the stability hit here, I think. Alright, we can admin tech up. Have we done our cores yet? We have. I gotta finish knocking this idea group out eventually. Also, I gotta pay back my loans. I mean, right? Right? We just have to finish this damn idea group eventually. Before we take more admin tech, it just makes sense to get civil services. Civil service. Let's just knock this out. We're not really in a position to expand right now. And uh, I fear no concession. No confederation. Hopefully we can kill both armies before the end of the month. So we don't actually get like any increased autonomy or who knows what it is that they're trying to do. But it's true, I fear no confederation. Screw you. 
This is our better general. Good. Let's shift consolidate. Nice roll. Yep, yeah, we're able to get to both of them in time. Still trying to cancel military access on you. And yet, just because they've got like one dude, there's always just like one random dude in my province. I should have paid closer attention to to who was asking for access. I didn't realize that freaking Pomerania... How is Pomerania even in this war, anyway? Like, the Ottomans... Oh, what was... How did the Ottomans get Pomerania in there? I don't, I don't remember. It does seem kind of silly that I can't just, like, tell them, Hey, look, I want you out of my land. Like, there should be a way to just, like, revoke military access, but have it have, like, a time frame, like, three months, you know? Meaning that in three months, they can't enter our land anymore. Give them advanced warning that we're revoking it. But it's just, it's just annoying, like... I, this For this entire war now, I'm not going to be able to revoke it. Well, we've managed up to get a second claim on uh, Naples. Naples is allied to Spain. I'm assuming Spain will honor the call, even though they're very, very weak. No, they won't. They're 5,000 ducats in debt. Holy crap. I think we have to attack this guy. Because he's going to join the coalition, and we can just remove him from the, from the game right now. Trier, we don't care about. Sweden, we don't really particularly care about. War exhaustion still has 10 months to come down. I have to attack Spain soon. Russia won't protect them. Excellent. So that means that if I attack Naples, then Spain's just left with Portugal for an ally. We attack Portugal, we call in France, no longer ally. Uh, probably call in somebody else. Yeah, we, we have to do this. I'd like to get a couple more troops over there. We got both of our claims. How are we doing on unrest? Okay, let's get another claim on, like, Circus. Should we take Circus, or should we try to work towards the other one? It's part of the Genoa node. Like, I could fabricate on, like, Valencia, you know. France, we don't care about what they want anymore, so... Yeah, I'd probably prefer a claim on Valencia. Or Circus. We've got to start getting into Spain. We're making 10 ducats a month. We could become Defender of the Faith. Looming Disaster is only at 20%. Our navy is fairly strong. We've got 16 heavies. I just decided to go nuts with heavies a while back, apparently. We're at 65-ish percent. 63, 60-ish percent of our manpower cap. Um, we've got to knock you out before you have a chance to do anything. We'll take uh, that one. We won't co belligerent co anyone because it doesn't matter. Spain's dishonored the alliance. We then probably want to immediately declare on Spain before they secure another alliance, especially while Russia won't protect them. Let's get the heavies out and ready to blockade by both. He's got no heavies, so. My weaker leader was the one with siege, so we do need to pick him up. There's the stack wipe. Uh, you have a level 2 fort and a level 1 fort. So we want 5 artillery here. If we can get it. Let's go pick up the siege guy. I'm a little concerned that if I pick up more aggressive expansion, they might join the coalition again. Before I have a chance to declare on Spain. But a Pomeranian is out. Okay, so that means that they now, of course, they've lost military access. That's so stupid. Okay, I'm never granting military access to anyone ever. Ever, never, ever again. Alright, so Sweden is going to be rather annoying. It's going to make this war take a while. Which is actually fairly fine. It's being converted to Protestant. What the hell? I spent effort to convert it. Stop it. 
It has local missionary strength negative 100 because I just converted it to Orthodox, and it's, yet it's still being converted to Protestant. What the hell? That's crap. <laughs> that is really stupid. Stupid Protestant Center of Reformation nonsense. Where the hell are these damn things? I'm gonna kill them all. I need to get up in there and convert them. Well, the Ottomans are certainly screwed now. Which is good, because it means that the Austrians will take a bunch of land, and then I can take a bunch of land from the uh, from the Ottomans. We're going to go like this, along the northern coast of the Ottomans. Head straight over into there. I do, at some point in the near future, need to, to take the moment, take the time, to go through the region map mode again. Alright, so we need the Caucasus, which I'm assuming is this whole thing here, and then this whole thing. So, yeah, that's... Yeah, we're going to go along Anatolia... Once we get here, we'll start fabricating over here. And we're just going to take all of that. It's just going to be a long, sinewy, spreadiest thingy along the coastlines. Okay, that is good. It's going to take them forever and a day to actually do those sieges. We'll come up there and smash that army soon, as soon as we're done with our sieges here. Then we'll park our navy, like, right there. And that way Sweden can't come to us. I bet Sweden has a couple ships. Eight heavies, yep. So we'll park our heavies over here. They should be within range in that sea tile, right? Easily, yep. I'm over the relationship limit. How is this possible? The alliance with Russia still have a royal marriage with France. Well, if I could somehow rival France, we could get rid of the stability penalty. We're currently rivaled to, to three fairly strong countries. And I can't really... And I could break it with, with Great Britain. If it wasn't for this, we have negative trust. Yeah, I think we just ditched this alliance. I don't care about Great Britain. They don't matter. Let's just finish the siege. We'll march north. See, like, we did way better in the war against the Ottomans, I think, because I just played on speed 3 and took my time and, you know, just tried to be a little bit more strategic about my decisions. Playing slower usually works. Savoy has declared war upon Switzerland. Alright. Bringing more troops down for me to kill. Uh, Trier. He's on tech 16 to my tech 17. The siege has remarkably not succeeded yet. It could go one more time. It could fail and get up to 98%. Okay, kill our navy. It's going to take a while for them to demand full annexation. Ottomans are losing a fight somehow to this 10 stack of Russians. That's remarkable. Okay, we park our heavies over here, because there is that guy. Um, let's actually grab our light ships, get everyone together. We just want to go kill the Swedish Navy. He's got 16 troops on those boats. So wherever he decides to land, we're going to sink 16 troops. Um, I don't actually have an army down here anymore. He will land on the 4th of September, so we have plenty of time to group up our navy. We can get more war score by letting him land his troops, actually. And then killing the army. But that would cost manpower, so let's just sink it. Again, he's going to arrive on the 4th. We'll be there by... Oh, nope. Okay, he is going to land his troops. Alright, fine. So we'll bring this army down. We need to help out our vassal anyway. Our march. Yep, Ottomans. Sorry about that military access, man. Actually, you know what? Temporarily, I'm going to give you military access if you want it. Throw that 64 stack at the 42 stack. Go ahead, do it. I'm willing to let that happen. I want my enemies to fight each other. But since I granted it to the Ottomans, hopefully I'll be able to control 
control it and get rid of it fairly soon. What? He's attacking with a 42 stack? Wow, look at that morale difference. What's the tech difference here? Tech 14 to tech 16. Only two levels, but it's a fairly significant one. 5.7 versus 3.4. 2-3 general, 4-2 general. Okay, well good. Either way, I don't I don't care who wins. Just yeah, murder each other. Just just wreck each other. Go for it. That 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 uh, Austrian morale. It is just tough for him to counteract that. I think I need to get some more transports. I want to be able to move like, like a 30 stack around. Even if that falls, I'll just I'll just take it back. He lost almost his entire navy, so. Robber Barons. So it's just a shuffle of loyalties and things. Okay, uh, if this we, if we did this one, the Burgers would lose lose influence, and the nobility would gain influence, bring them up above eighty percent, and bring them below eighty percent. Yeah, I think we do this one. <laughs> it's fine. Trade one one uh, disaster issue for another. All right, we'll grab our lights, detach damaged, take them back to Genoa. We have a shipyard here. We do good. We'll have these guys now protect trade in Genoa as well, and the heavies. They can wait till after the war to get repaired. They're fine. Let's go get a couple more uh, brigs being built. I'm gonna go over the force limit. We're just gonna make some extras. Uh, we'll go one. So anything anywhere that costs just eleven. Six hundred and fifty-four days though. Never mind. Ah! I did not want to select that stupid trade center. That's 10 more transports. That'll be good. Game's telling me I can tech up. I can take Diplo. We lost the, uh, the, the bonus. So we need to... Imp no, we did not. We have, we have enough relations here. Am I crazy? No, we don't have Western Arms trade. All right, let's take this tech now, then. Papal State is out. Somehow I had very low morale. Strange. Gotta watch out for that Swedish combat ability. 30% infantry. Ouch. It's painful. Still, they will get stack wiped. And now I need to get some troops back up that way. Looks like we're gonna have to pull from over here. Actually, this army's... Yeah, this army's gonna have to stay down here for a sec. We've squelched all the issue with the rebellion there. Let's have you guys march up to, like, Dalmatia, and then, uh... If you can get to Laika, and I can just hop right across the Gulf of Venice. Okay, cool. I'm going to take a break here. I'll look forward to seeing you again in the next video. As always, thank you for watching. See you soon.